<clears throat> Hello my fellow watchers. <clears throat> this is Shadow Squid here and today we'll be I'm gonna be trying out Fallout New Vegas. I've heard <clears throat> I've heard great things about this game from the Russian Badger and just a few days ago my friend Cap McMillan had gotten me the game as a present. I I wasn't expecting any at first I wasn't expecting to uh, get this but now that I'm thinking about it I really do feel like I should really try this for the first time in a long while I haven't tried I haven't actually tried a Fallout game before so this is my first so let's get started try to move game Present, yes. Atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam just barely against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House, and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. You got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. Damn. <laughs> Guess who's waking up over here? Benny? Time to cash out. Get it over with. 
Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink, dig? You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling, must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. You're awake. How about that? Yeah, I'm awake. Whoa, easy there, easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. Oh, Why don't you just relax holy a second? Holy crap. Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. Oh. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? Let's get started. Actually, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna be doing this. I'm doing this crap. <laughs> oh. <laughs> huh. I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. You get it. you get around to that, pal. How'd I do? Okay, let's get started. Okay, let's see. Caucasian, Asian, African, African American, or Hispanic. I could say I was born in Asia, but I'm an American citizen. Ah, oh, god dang it. Here we go. We're, I have a feeling we're gonna be here a while. Screw it. Caucasian. Okay, let's see. Forehead. Jesus Christ. Um, I think I'll stick with this. Tone. What the hell? Just what the hell? Brows are fine. 
Eyes, they're fine. Nose. Ah, uh, no, no. Mouth. What the hell? I'll stick with I'll stick with the regular. She. Actually, you know what? Let's experiment a bit. Okay, that's fine. Oh, oh God. Jeez. Actually, you know what the heck? <laughs> oh my God. This is just, oh my God. Okay, let's see. Shit. Wait, if that's a jawline, what about the ch I'm not even going to fiddle with it. Forget it. Just forget it. Eye color, green, blue, hazel, dark brown. I'll go, I'll go for dark brown. Yeah, dark brown will do. Here. You can't be serious. Bleach, brown, chocolate. I'll just go with black god they look i kind of look nice oh no no oh my god i look i kind of look good in this uh let's see oh, yeah. oh my god pterosaur shag swab buzz cut smooth wave comb over okay buzz saw balding waster sarge Pompadour, Tunnel Snake, Clean Cut. Actually, you know what? I'll go for Bedraggled. Actually, yeah, Bedraggled will do. Facial Hair. Oh my god. Uh, let's see. Survivalist, rough beard, goatee, beatnik, gunsling. Oh my, my, my. Gentlemen, mut let's, let's take a few screenshots. Oh my god. I look like a freaking. I look like a condescending prick. Mud and stash. Oh my god. God, it looks soul patch, old coot, the Gettysburg, a chopper, gin strip, honest Abe, man's man, swashbuckler, ladies man, tough guy, Machiavelli, gin dusting, cavalry, daddy o, blackwater, roughneck, thin strip, sag strip, shag strip, touch a soul, tire track, the comrade, chin scruff, Manchurian, doom rider, mess. Mephistopheles, Bristol Pool, El Garcinero, Ombre, Renegade, Rough Stuff, Dead Man's Hand, Barbrawl, Stranded, Dashing Rogue, Slickster, Chairman, Cheng. I'll go with Grizzled S Actually, you know what? I'll Let's just go for Gunslinger. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, I think it's good. Yes. Well, I got most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Oh God. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Why does why why am I good. still blurry? Why don't you walk down to the end of the room, over by that vigor tester machine there? Okay. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. Okay. Thanks, Doc. Oh my god. High graphics and it looks freaking awesome. Let's, uh, let's just... Oh, uh, let's see. Not that. Not that. Display. There we go. General subtitles. Perfect. Ooh, 
looking good so far. Go ahead and give the figure tester a try. We'll learn right quick if you get back all your faculties. Oh my god, the special system. Let's see, strength? Perception. Endurance. Holy shit, this looks awesome. Charisma. Oh my god. I don't know if I'm looking at a machine that's supposed to collect our that's supposed to notify our skills or am I or if I'm looking at a dating machine. Holy shit, it's beautiful. Agility and luck. This is the last one. Oh my god. Let's take a let's rewind a bit. Let's see, Peevish Librarian. Handle with care. Alert Coyote. Actually, you know what? Big eyed tiger, I think. Barrel chip. I'll go for beach bully. Actually, you know what? Before we. It's a nice little. Something for the road. Uh, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna go for a. Uh, I'm gonna stick with stain resistant. Cat like I'm thinking You know what? I'm keeping I'm keeping I'm keeping even Stevens. There we yeah, go. That's a pretty standard score there, but after what you've been through, I'd say that's great news. Well, we know your vitals are good. But that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nutter than a big horn and drop it. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? See if your dogs are still barking. Is that so, Mr. Mitchell? Okay, I'll bite. Alright. I'm gonna say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. Cat. House. Shelter. Night. Dream. Bandit. S vaporize. Light. Dark. Mother. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Caretaker. Okay. Now, I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. Um, let's see. I'd like to disagree on that part. I ain't given to relying on others for support. I ain't given to relying... I'd strongly disagree on that, sir. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. I disagree on that. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. Um, slow to embrace new ideas. That's gonna be a bit of a stretch. Um, yeah, I'll agree on that. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Strongly agree. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. Uh Okay, I'm just I'm just getting a closer look at this. I'm trying to take a look at what I'm looking at. 
a broken chain. Okay. How about this one? Looks like half a sun. A ship at sea. Last one. A light in the darkness. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. I'll get around to that, sir. I'll get around to that, Doc. Holy shit. Well, it's... Oh my god. I want to take a look at all of this. Barter, energy weapons, explosive guns, lockpick, medicine, melee, repair, science, sneak, speech, survival, unarmed. Oh my god, this is, this looks beautiful. Oh my god, I'm, I'm going to love this. But first, I got a lot to look through. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, this looks beautiful. I'm just gonna put this on guns, and that's all there is. The bench, you say? Science skill represents your contraband. Your combined scientific knowledge and is primarily used to hack restricted computer terminals. It can also be used to, re to recycle energy weapon ammo at workbenches. I'll keep that. I'll try and keep that in mind. The sneak skill. Uh huh. Uh huh. Interesting. Interesting. The speech skill. Yeah, that's gonna need a bit of work. Oh, if I can get around to leveling that, that'll be good. Survival increases hit points you receive from food and drink. Also helps you create consumable items at campfires. Unarmed skill used for fighting without weapon or with weapons designed for hand-to-hand -hand combat like brass knuckles, power fists, and displacer claws. I think that's everything. Let's get this done with. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Is, uh, is that so? Let's take a look here. Built to destroy. No, no. Fast shot. Four eyes. Good natured. Oh, come on. Heavy handed. Kamikaze, loose cannon, small frame, trigger, trigger discipline, wild wasteland. Okay, so trigger discipline and fast shot. What? I like a gun. I'm not exactly a... <laughs> Talking isn't my thing. And... Done. Alright, I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out. 
Oh, sure thing, Doc. Here, these are yours. It was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Is that so? Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a Pip-Boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on, too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. Never was much my style, anyway. Um... Thank... Thanks, Doc. Uh, don't mention it. It's what I'm here really? for. Thank you. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out, too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. No, no. I'm not risking it. Well, my first achievement. Let's see what we let's see what we got here. And this is where it all begins. Oh my god. Holy shit. Nine millimeter pistol and a straight razor. Con okay, the con both condition of both are fine. Oh my god! Holy crap! I got a lot to wrap my head around. Okay, lockpick tools. Take a look at the ammo here. Let's see, armor, armor piece, sing, hollow point, overcharge, slugs? Interesting, interesting. This will be interesting. Oh. Special moves would... Character melee weapon score hits 50. Oh god, oh god. The light. Good springs, huh? So that's Doc Mitchell's home. Neighborhood of you. Small time neighborhood. Here it is. Prospector Saloon. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? You know anything about Victor? The machine? Harmless. No matter what Trudy says. She thinks it's hiding something. But I think it's just a broken down relic with no place to be. Why are you called Easy Pete? was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now, we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Bighorners. Huh. Nah, nah. Interesting. Means I poked through old buildings looking for working tech and such. Some folks just call it salvaging, but never liked the term. The way I see it, salvage means it's broken, near worthless. 
Me, I look for the good stuff. Guns, chems, spare parts. Good money in it. Is that so? You ever find anything good? Nope. Had a pretty good claim once, way out east by the river. But got run off by raiders. Eventually got too old to keep going out. That's, uh, that's a shame. What's wrong with the NCR? Don't get me wrong. The NCR's got a lot of decent folk in it. It's just that they make you part of them whether you like it or not. Towns like Good Springs and Prim don't stay independent for long. Not if you've got something the NCR wants. Still, the NCR keeps the Legion away. What? The Legion? They're slavers. Led by a guy named Caesar. Or Kaisar. Not sure how you're supposed to say it. A couple of years ago, they tried to take over Hoover Dam. But the NCR beat them back. The NCR didn't or couldn't finish the job, though. The Legion's got its strength back and is getting ready for another round at the dam. My money's still on the NCR winning, but you never know. We've been hearing stories about Legionaries on the Nevada side of the river, so keep a gun handy. You don't want to get caught by them. Hmm. Hoover Dam. The dam powers a lot of New Vegas, and then there's all that clean water lying in Lake Mead, too. Anybody who owns the dam owns the territory. Ooh. The big corners. Meat and hide, mostly. Can't put a pack on them. They just lay down until you take it off. Can find a bunch of wild ones high up in the hills, but gotta be careful around them. They can put up a decent fight if cornered. Hmm. The people who attacked me, you know anything? The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though. If you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. Um, thanks, Pete. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here. Like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. Thank you, Pete. Prospector Saloon. Let's check this place out. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. That's... Doc Mitchell. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. I'll keep that in mind. Huh. Bar looks like it's seen better days. Nope. Where the hell is she? There she is. Sunny smiles. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Here we go. A rifle. This is interesting. That's the right idea. Look down the sight. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from my water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? I'm in. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. Let's get started. Oh my god, this looks beautiful. So this is what the New Vegas Desert looks like. Mojave. It's beautiful. It's 
not a freaking beautiful. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos to clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. You think so? This will be interesting. Okay, you're on. Go give them help. Where the hell are they? At the at the well they sit, right? I don't see anything. There we go. Oh my god. Here we go. Oh, sh Die, Gecko. Ooh. Where the hell is the other one? Come on. Freaking prick. Okay, Sonny, where the hell are you? Come on. Okay. Interesting. Five rounds and bolt. Five action. Five rounds, bolt action. Sonny? See? You're getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. You ki you kidding me? I need to- Shouldn't take more than a couple I need, minutes. I need especially keep, with two of us. I need to keep come practicing. Woo! Boom, baby. More to marry her. One more well. Where the hell are those skippers? Everything alright? Well, let's just finish this first, alright? Then we could talk. Preferably somewhere where I can get a stiff drink and Cheyenne can keep cool. Oh, okay, okay. Where are we? Okay, so this is the third and final well, but where are the geckos? Empire. God dang it. Seal requirement ingredients. Well, damn.
big I hear big iron. Trying to get up. God damn it. Get off of her. Get, get your freaking hands off of her. Alright. Let's take a look at the item. 5.56, huh? Let's let's test a nine millimeter. See how they like. Well, uh, I think we know where the geckos went. Interesting. Yep. 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 Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Couldn't hurt. All right then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. Might as well get started. Nineteen eleven. Couldn't hurt to start. Yup. My God, it's beautiful. Getting closer. Ooh. Get away from my feet. Freaking man is die. Now where the frick is that? Now where the frick is that stuff? That's I have to head inside. Well, damn. God, the times felt simpler. What the? God damn! God damn it, get off of me! Come on. 
stay still. Oh my gosh. Gotta pick this all up. Yep. See what I'm looking at here. Okay. Set terminal inquire. Grid V3. 100. Set file protection. Set hold restart maintenance. BIOS. Maintenance mode on debug accounts. Where do I even begin? Getting closer. There we go. Disengage lock. Granted unlocking open safe. Holy shit, this looks my first treasure. Holy shit. Well, 27 bottle caps, a coffee mug, mentex, pack of cigarettes, pre war money, stealth boy, super stim pack, and a wrench. Thank you. Metal box. Empty bottle toy car. Diesel. F I'm, I figured these will fetch a bargain down at the general store. Data. Local map. Might as well switch, might as well switch weapons. Bronx flower in a sander root. Local map. I gotta head inside the schoolhouse. What? Okay, let's take a look at this. Where do I even begin? Another empty Nuka Cola bottle. An ashtray. Where the hell's the where the hell's the item? Ruined school desk. A programmer's digest. Desk, desk. Walkers. Ooh, two mantis eggs. Wait a minute. 
anything in the foot locker. Large scorch book. Toolbox. Scrap metal. Damn. Where the hell is that thing? Box of detergent. Bobby pin, more bobby pin, another bobby pin, a Braxil cleaner, where the hell is that thing? Mailbox is empty. Safe is also empty, I checked that already. Another programmer's digest, hold on, items, miscellaneous, Large scorched book, no. Food. Mm. Ooh, programmer's digest that meant extra science. Stats. Skills. There we go. So that's what the stealth boy does. Might as well uh, take a stim pack while I'm at it. God damn, I accident. I wasted it. Load. Auto. Yes. A Brock flower and a Xander root. Okay, let's see. Large Scorch book. Programmer's Digest. Toolbox. Scrap metal. Bobby pin, Bobby pin, Bobby pin, Abraxel cleaner, Bonka detergent, Cherry bomb, Cup, Nothing in the lockers. Nothing. Nothing in the desks or the mantis stuff either. A hammer. Wait a sec. Large ruined book. Empty Nuka Cola bottle. Ashtray. Wait a second. Small burned book. Chess board. Salesman Weekly. Where do I even begin with this stuff? Oh my god. Show location. I'm at one of the two locations. Right? Uh, never mind. Let's just head out. Why do I have a feeling that the school house has seen better days? I mean, I sure, 
at least a hundred years or so past, but I'll be damned if this place wasn't near priceless. Wait a sec. Jalapeno? Plants? Well, I'll be. What the frick is that plant I'm after, though? It's had to be here somewhere. Oh my god. If you're looking for supplies, Chet over at the general store can help you out. General story. Shit. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Okay. What makes it It's all about quantity over quality. Trouble is, you'll be cleaning and fixing your gun a lot more than usual when you use those kind of bullets. Okay. You know anything about the people who shot me? The leader was a New Vegas type. Typical city boy. He had a bunch of great cons with him, probably hired guns. The great cons normally stay in their own territory way up northwest, on account of them being enemies with the NCR. Um, have you ever been to New Vegas? Twice. Both times I drank a lot of liquor and lost most of my caps at the card tables. In that order, now that I think about it. If you ever get to New Vegas, be sure to visit Gamora. It's the best casino in the city. You won't regret it. Word of advice, behave. Between the NCR military police and Mr. House's robots, you don't want to be causing trouble on the strip. Okay. Weapon, Weapon mods. mods are things like silencers, scopes, bigger magazines. Special ammo includes things like armor-piercing bullets, which don't hurt the target as much, but let you punch through armor easier. There's also hollow point bullets, which have the opposite effect. You can kill unarmored targets easier, but they don't do shit against armor. What do you have for sale? Can do. Okay, let's take a look here. My god. A uh, black silk hollow point. Oh my god. 357 revolver. 
high density cylinder, hollow point, magnum rounds. Throwing hatchet, super stim pack. Ooh, silence 22. Clubs, Lucky 38, Instamash, Harmonica, Gumdrops, Flower, Fission Battery, Fire Hose Nozzle, Energy Cell Overcharge, Empty Whiskey Bottle, Duct Tape, Dynamite, Drinking Glass, Doctor's Bag, Dirty Water, Dandy Boy Apples, Cutting Board, a 357 Magnum Case, wait, no gun? Just weapon mods, that's all you've got. I might as well buy myself the new 22. 22, 22, 22. I'll take the letter armor. Five point five six nine millimeter thirty eight special twenty twenty two laser blinking twenty ooh there we go there we go a silent twenty two pistol 22 laser rounds god damn it actually you know what screw it Give me a shout if you need anything else. Uh, Mr. House. I'm what afraid do you know I don't know much myself. Mr. House has got his own casino, Lucky 38, but nobody goes in or out except his robots. The other casinos follow Mr. House's rules, so I guess that makes him the leader of New Vegas. As far as I know, nobody's ever laid eyes on the guy. I think that robot who pulled you out of the dirt belongs to Mr. House. If Mr. House is looking after you, it's got to be a good thing, right? They're tough sons of bitches. Mean, but not crazy. They'll leave you alone unless you got something they want. The Great Khans deal in illegal chems. There's a good chance that most chems you come across were made by Great Khans. God, the 22 looks really, really good. Hmm. Um, thank you, Chet. Much obliged. Oh my god, I look, I really do look good with this. No thanks.
Whoops. You're not getting away. Beautiful. Where the hell is the other one? Are you kidding me? Don't say I didn't warn you. Oh my god. Thanks. Rick. All I just wanted to do was kill some bull. You had to shoot. All you had to do is not shoot. Get back here. God freaking damn it. I had... Okay. So I gotta do that one thing and not shoot him. Okay, got it. That's the only thing I don't gotta do. Just simply show up and threaten them. Alright. Okay, let's see here. Bingo! Oh my god, this is... I'll be taking that. Thank you. Now, let's see here. Good Spring Cemetery, huh? Let's get started. God dang it. Come on. Take a deep breath. Okay. You wanna play? Let's freaking play.
Brock, Flower, and Xander Root. Got it. Looks like this was my grade. Here it is. Brock Flower. Now where the hell is that Xander Root? Oh, and frickin' behold. I got him. Got it. Howdy. You looking to buy some supplies? What do you have and for sale? Let's see. There we go. Pleasure doing business with you. Take it easy. <laughs> oh, holy shit. I killed him. Oh, God. I freaking took his head off. <laughs> I'm just gonna... Is it really worth killing him? Was it really worth it? Oh my god. There's so much shit here. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, so this is how fast one loses karma, Jesus Christ. You know what, screw it, it's not worth it. 
I got too much moral conscience. It's not worth it. You looking to buy some supply? What do you have? Can do. I got some stuff to sell anyway. All of it. I'm gonna buy your tire iron. I'm gonna get. Oh, come on. Really? I can't have a silencer. Hmm. Thanks. Take it easy now. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy fooling around with this. Tire iron. Let's try a tire iron. <laughs> oh god! Oh shit! I'm gonna make sure there isn't much left of that body. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna save this moment. Thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a gun. Thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got all of good freak the slaughter. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna enjoy fooling around with this. Finally, a big iron with only eight rounds in the mag. You can rest easy now. It'll all be over. Found you. That's a shame. I'm going to kill everyone in Good Springs. <laughs> oh, damn it. Come on. Oh, damn it. You're a fool to think you could kill me. I'm 
gonna kill all of you. Oh my god, I'm gonna enjoy fooling around here. I, w I wanna test something. If I can actually kill Mitchell. Where is he? Where the frick is he? <laughs> oh god! <laughs> Thank you Mr. Mitchell, you've done a great service. Oh god, I'm such a prick. Actually, you know what? It ain't worth it. I'm not killing him over the big iron. It's not worth it. You looking to buy some supplies? I'm just going to do Thanks. my job. Take it easy now. You looking to buy some supplies? No, no. I just want to make sure I save correctly. Thank you. I might as well get I might as well travel out and get to work. I've wasted way too much time trying to kill people. Or at least I think I've killed this I think I've killed the same guy three times now. But who's keeping count? If you're looking for supplies, chat over at the general store can help you out. Why does everyone seem to have a big iron? Diagonals of chivalry? I'll take that. What the frick just happened? Oh, there it is. Let's see what we got here. Empty Sunset Sarsaparilla. Howdy, partner! Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Um, thanks for digging me out of the grave. Don't mention... How would you happen to find me? I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. Never seen one like I'm you before. I'm a Securitron. Robco Security Model 2060B. 
If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. Thank you, sir. I'm not. E I'm not even gonna bother with him. He's a good. He's a good machine. So this is the Xander route. Now where the hell is Sunny? Let's just... God, I love... God, I'm starting to love Fallout's way of killing. You can literally shoot anyone and suffer almost no repercussions. It's beautiful. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna save this next one, I, I really want to try this out. <laughs> Let's try this out. Let's draw, woman! A woman with a varmint rifle versus a man with a pistol. And I have armor, woman. Alright, you wanna fight? Let's freaking fight! Tire iron! Oh! Oh! Oh, damn. Ooh. <laughs> Guys, dog. This isn't worth it. This just isn't worth it. God damn it. Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. All right now. We're going to be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. Ooh. Hey, that's not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy? She's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. 
She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Okay. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna do something I never thought I'd be doing. Oh, let's try this out. Silence 22. Let's see how this goes. Thank you, Sonny. Thank you, Sonny. Fight me, woman! Let's freaking have a sniper battle! Come on, woman! Face me! Oh my god. This yeah. weapon is just brutal. Let me see what you got. All right. Hey, that's not bad, see? She
I'm just gonna save another because I'm going to enjoy this That's not good. It's not even worth it. Sure, I killed someone, but was it really Evening. worth it? I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. Ma'am. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. Is that so? About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Is wait, where's he He's now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. You mean murder him? That's not our way. Even if Cobb is scum, he can bluster and threaten all he wants. Some of the others, mm. like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Wait, wait, wait. Powder gangers? Chain gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Huh. Alright. What happens if I If you were him? able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the powder gangers mad, and they've got a lot of friends out there. Don't know why you want to do a thing like that. Yep, you'd get on their good side, but people around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit.
I know that thing as much as anyone else around here. It mostly keeps to itself, which is just fine by me. You don't it like acts him? friendly enough, but I don't trust that whole cheerful cowboy act. I find it all very creepy. Other than rolling around once in a while, it doesn't do anything useful as far as I can tell. I don't know why it took an interest in you, but I'd be careful. It's never helped anyone before. How long has he been here? It was here when I took over the saloon seven years ago. Some people have said its owner lived here, but no one knows who it was. Hmm. Shame. Fine by me. The people who shot me. Not much, other than there are a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. They, they were having they were some going. kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. Sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. Go on. That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. <clears throat> so where were they? I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15? He'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Can I take a look at your radio? Sure. The outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. Mostly traders looking to buy mm. bighorn or meat and hides. The traders are the main reason the general store manages to stay in business. Most travelers heading south on the I-15 just push on towards Prim, unless they're in desperate need of supplies. Anything interesting? There's always something interesting going on. But the biggest news has to be the coming dust-up between the NCR and the Legion over the dam. Continue. I'm pretty sure the NCR wants to hold on to the dam because it's one of the few places around that can make electricity. The Legion are a bunch of savages, though. No idea why they'd want the dam. Probably plan on destroying it or something. Slavers, killers, and all other kinds of trouble. They dress up like Roman soldiers, so there's no mistake in it when you see them. The rumor is, is that the Legion is far larger than the NCR lets on, and that it's been due to luck that the Legion hasn't overrun the territory. The New California Republic's got the most power in Nevada. Money, troops, you name it. They do what they can to keep things safe in the region. But if you ask me, they're trying to do too much. They're spread too thin. Mm -hmm. I'm Let's see here. Okay. Be careful out there. Let's see here. Let's round off a few things. There we go. Thirteen steel points, right? And there we go. Ooh. Hmm. Rapid read. Let's do that.
pair of 20 or greater. God damn it. Let's tempt a little faith here. Trading. Station. Helping. God freaking dang it. God, I loved schooling around. I'm done being nice. Well, you've been causing. Looks like our little. You mean Mer? If you were able to get Ringo out of this... Hmm. Let's, uh, let's skip past a few things. It might make... Maybe a few things could make sense. Sure. The outside... There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what... Hmm, anything going on? I know that thing. Feeling thirsty? I fixed the Yeah, radio. I heard it turn right back on after you got done tinkering with it. Here's some caps for the work. Uh, thanks. You're welcome. Goodbye. All right. Mr. Innocent. You have outlived your usefulness. You now Good job. Killing the man was enough. Howdy. Hi there. Sticking around good sp Sure can. Take the road southeast out of town till it hits the freeway. Sure. Prim is a town with a roller coaster straight south. Can't miss it. NCR patrols do a good job of keeping the highway clear. But I'd keep your gun where you can reach it easily. You never know who you'll run into. Off the road, you'll probably start running into hostile wildlife. My advice would be to stick to the highway when you can. Not in good springs, no. 
But if you're up for a little scavenging, there's always the schoolhouse. Most of what's in there is junk, but there's this old safe that even Easy Pete wasn't able to crack with dynamite. Done. If you want to take a shot at it, take these. Okay. Oh. Well, go ahead and keep the... <laughs> Thanks for the revolver, good sir. This guy had a 9mm. I'm just gonna... Take a look here. Bingo. Disengage walk. Perfect. It's perfect. All of it. Bite me. I have... I at least have something nice for the road. General Neutral. It'll do. Hey. Howdy. How you what do you know about Joe? Bad Bob? trouble. That's not exactly how Welcome. Yep. Weapon repair kit. Are you kidding me? Might as well you looking to buy some supplies? Yes. I'm gonna need to borrow a few stuff. Let's see here. Just look for a bit of extra. Silent 22, stuff. I'm gonna need a shovel, some scrap metal, some electronics, uh, Salesman Weekly, a 
three more hats. No, no. Wonder glue. A few more wrenches. Uh, maybe a whetstone. Some turbo. Yeah, I think that I think that'll do. Actually, you know what? Uh. Yep. Thanks. Goodbye. You looking to buy some supplies? What do you know? If Ringo doesn't head out on his own, I think we should hand him over. The town shouldn't get. Don't mistake that for coward talk, though. We're a town of survival. You looking to buy some supplies? Yes. I got some pistols to sell. Low quality ones. Yoink. Give me a shout if you need. You looking to buy some supplies? I'm think I'm thinking Take uh before this video ends, I'm going to actually participate in a real fight. Enough uh with the repeated stuff. I'm gonna actually fight for one. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually try and participate in the event. Let's see here. There. No location. Gas station over the hill. This is the place. Poseidon Energy Gas Station. It's abandoned. I don't think that's ever... Usually, I don't think this stuff's ever stopped me. Ah, crap. Give me a moment. Okay. It's okay entering the gas station. That's close enough. Who I'm not an enemy if that's what you're asking. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. What say we start over with a friendly game of caravan? You know how to play? Uh what are the rules of uh okay, Joe Carvey's over yeah. here. He doesn't look very tough though. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friend sh- Why are the powder gangers out to get you? My caravan was on the return trip from California and heading back to the company branch in New Vegas when we got jumped. Not even a drop your weapons and hands up before the bullets started flying. We put up a good fight, but there was too many of them. I took a few of the bandits down before I ran, so I figure their friends are out for revenge. What are you gonna do? 
What are you gonna do about the powder gang? I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. Hmm. Maybe I can help. We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now. I'll ask around and see who I can run. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. Boxing times, tin cans, box of detergent, turpentine. I might as well I might as well make do with all the stuff here. Great. Sunset sarsaparilla. More and more stuff. Crams, skin caps, bottle caps, and whiskey bottles, soda bottles, coffee mugs. Maze. Okay, we are gonna try and save Ringo. Sunny. Hi there. Sticking around good sp Say Just like that? Just like that. I have a feeling that I'm going to end up fighting those guys one way or another. So I might as well get it over with. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo. But I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. Okay. Any ideas? A silver tongue would help. Convincing Trudy that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. Okay, uh, the supplies. I don't think give is in Chet's vocabulary. Even The dynamite. Easy Pete's pretty protective of his dynamite. You'd have to convince him you know a thing or two about explosives. Okay. Oh my god. Here we freaking go. Mr. Keeper! Mr. Stormkeeper! I hate to bother you! You looking to buy some supplies? Now just hold on. Look. God damn it. Okay, let's see. What? Doc Mitchell. God damn it, I forgot. I forgot to hide in my shit. Might as well talk with Doc. Mr. Mitchell! Mr. Mitchell! Welcome back. How is gonna be attacked like that? Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce, but I'll give you what I can spare. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mitchell. One more thing. I didn't see him or the men with him. You might ask around town, though. Could be someone saw which way they was headed. Your best bet would probably... Okay, uh, goodbye. Thank you. Let's let's keep moving.
Here we go. Easy V. Got it. Uh, dynamite. Too dangerous. God damn it. Don't have to make do. Freaking prick. to make do. The items. The BB gun. God damn my lack of self-awareness. Holy moly. I came up here to join. Thank you. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. All the more reason for me to... God damn it. Unless... Wait a minute. This, this, um, items, items. Miscellaneous... Uh, let's see here. Let's see what we got here. Um... Where the hell is... Hey, this is it. Here we go. Uh, melee weapon. Barter. Science. Lockpick. Feeling thirsty? God. I think I can. I think I can try bartering with the supplyman. Maybe.
12 rounds of baby pellets. Mr. Storekeeper. Hey there. You looking to buy some supplies? Supplies. Barter 25. You made your point. I can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo. Sure hope it's worth it. And uh, I'll be guarding the store while... Thank you, sir. Come on. Might as well try to fight the powder gangers with what supplies I've got. This better be worth it. Oh, um, wait, where the hell did he go? Ringo, I need to talk with you. It is time. So what's going on? Did... Sonny's with us. Well, I guess... Let's do this. All right, I'm ready. I hope. Time to look alive. The Powder Gangers are here to play. How many are there? At least six. Joe Cobb included. They look pretty mean. Let's go. I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. Let's... let's end this. Come on. Okay. God damn it. Ringo. Sonny? You ready? There they are. Damn it! Maybe I don't come out looking like a fool. Nine millimeter in a bark in a bark. Six. Okay, so six to seven. Okay, so let's recount everything. Six to seven powder gangers. Wanna fight in this damn town? Well, they'll have. Hey there. If they want it. They'll have to fight for the inch to get it. Varmint rifle. Let's do this.
to go. Oh my god, thank you so much. Shotguns, dynamite, clothes. I owe you a huge favor for this. Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. Yeah. Wait, didn't I hear you say something I earlier? did have what was left of the Crimson Caravan money, but I wasn't sure if it was my right to just give it away. I owe you more than that, though, so look me up at the Crimson Caravan camp up in New Vegas if you ever visit. Um, thanks for the hundred caps, then. Oh. Holy shit. These bodies. Oh, 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 oh. it's beautiful. Oh my, no, Jayen! He fought, he fought and he's dead! Let's see what remains of that last guy. Another varmint rifle. 5.56. Interesting. Really, really interesting. Oh my god, his eyes! So, Cheyenne fought for the town. Shame that he's dead. Real big shame. Thanks again for all your help. Wait a minute, I see the body of Cheyenne, but I don't see the body of the girl. She was here. Boy. At least I hope she's safe. Check the items. Okay, a magnum revolver. Mm -hmm. Single shotgun. My god. No. No! Sonny's dead! God damn it! Sonny died for this town. I could reverse the events, but... Maybe not now. But damn, she's dead! So, um, yeah. That's my fur. that's my start in Fallout New Vegas. Sonny and Cheyenne are dead. They died protecting this town because I was too much of a dumbass to do it. Anyways, um... If you liked watching me rant and fight for... Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're interested. And, uh, it's, this is Shadow Squid. Log, logging off.